Hey, what's up guys? Jake here from Rocket Banana, and before I get into the tips and tricks that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today, how to get the 100 plus on raid every time, basically, um, I want to give a quick thank you to uh, Pwn Stars for this amazing opportunity. Uh, posting this video on his channel really means a lot, and uh, I'm going to hope that you guys maybe check out our channel. Um, it is a 100 plus channel. We upload a daily 100 pluses, and um, I hope that you guys enjoy the content. Now, getting right into tips and tricks, um, what I always would suggest is you don't have to cap that first flag in the beginning of the game. Game. It's more of a formality than a necessity in this game. What you want to do is you're going to have to run past the B flag, and usually you'll pick up a few kills on the way, but once you get into the spawn, you, you get kids like this with sniper rifles. What are you doing? Are you like aiming down sights and you just think that your screen is glitching out or something? I don't know what happened there. I don't know how I didn't die, but I guess a little bit of luck goes, um, it goes a long way in this game. Um, so what I always suggest is sitting in, uh, not sitting, but rather patrolling the enemy spawn, really controlling which part of the map they're going to go to. They all know I'm in there, so it's time to get the fuck out of there and uh, make my way to the A flag. Um, usually what I would suggest is getting onto that A flag and getting some kills while you're on there, because you get 200 points per capture kill, as opposed to just getting 100, and then it'll attract more people onto the A flag. And uh, you'll, it's just gonna start a cycle of getting you towards your kill streaks, and it's really gonna help you out in the long run, and uh, it'll help you get to those uh, higher kill streaks that a lot of you guys really want to get to. Now, um, something uh, that I really want to talk about on raid, especially. Uh, damn, I don't know how I didn't pick up that kill, but on raid, especially the kill streaks go ham. I'm throwing up a Vita warship right now. This does not go ham because it gets shot down in like two seconds. However. I usually would use um, the load star swarm dogs on this map because the kill streak setup I'm using really doesn't do work. I'm only a level 16. I just reset this account and uh, it's not very easy to use a lightning strike, Vito warship, and uh, load star. But either way, I'm not complaining because I'm picking up my kill streaks. I'm having a fun time playing this game. And uh, okay, when I'm using the load star, this is what really pisses me off about raid with a load star. Every fucking time I use it. I get kill or I don't get a kill because I hit a branch or a leaf with a missile. What the fuck? Like yeah, a leaf or a branch is really going to stop the fucking missile from exploding on freaking four people. Uh it should have been 150 plus, but I made some really stupid mistakes like right here. Um I pick up my lightning strike I think and then I, I just die out of sheer stupidity. Um picking up this uh this scorpion, uh, I only did this because I have a, a launcher as my backup and uh I didn't realize it's unsilenced, so once I pick up these kills right here, you know, I go to throw up the lightning strike, and, jeez, I'm attracting attention from all over. You'll see the guy jumps down with the scorpion, he fucking rapes me from behind. So you want to stay away from this side of the map, this side of the, uh, if you're running an SMG. Uh, if you're running an SMG, then you don't want to be there because it's a long line of sight. If you're staying away from the long lines of sight, then you're really picking your gunfights wisely, and you're going to maximize your potential to pick up a lot of kills. Um... Now, uh, I go keep going back here because I'm feeling like the, the enemies are just all around here. And I'm right, they are all around here. But it's just still not a smart thing to do. I'm getting impatient, and that's actually how I pick up the four deaths in the first round. Um, second round, I end up going 75, you know? I don't know, I suck at math. Not really, but right now I do. <laughs> but, um... Uh, now I'm realizing, okay, I'm dying over there, what I'm doing isn't working, it's time to get into their spawn and go to work again. And uh, that's exactly what I do, guys, um, and I always suggest coming in here. Look at this, there's three guys just lined up, ready for me to take out, and that'll happen for you guys every time, I promise that. Um, this is the only place that the noobs like to go on the map, it's their comfort zone. Now, as you can see, I'm standing on the A flag, um... Every kill you get on the A flag, as I already said, is giving you 200 kills towards your kill streak. But um, it also attracts the enemies to you. I, I pick up this LMG, I don't know why, but um, it's just attracting people to me, and they're spawning right here. The three major spawns are right where I'm standing um, by the A flag itself in the the back of it, and then there's one that's uh, by that little sniper house on. Uh, it's between the A and B flag. Though that's exactly where they're spawning, so now that you guys do know where they're spawning on uh, the A side, try to do your best to keep them there. Now that's the last, last, last death of the game, and that's what I get for using a freaking target finder. 
<laughs> That's just karma. That is what I deserve. Um, jumping on the A flag because it's the end of the round. Get every point you can by the end of the round. Um, you want to have it as close as you can to having your next kill streak by the time the next round starts so that you can immediately move into the enemy's spawn again and pick up those kill streaks. Kill streaks are king in this map, you guys. Um, I really have to stress that the kill streaks are king. Um, Speaking of kings, this is a random little factoid that uh, I found out. I guess Justin Bieber just got caught smoking pot, so some kids are like hurting themselves, cutting themselves, going emo because oh, Justin Bieber, he's smoking weed. Oh no! Oh, Biebs, you silly goose, don't do that. <laughs> what are you doing, guy? All right. Um, now, as you can see, I'm on 49 and four right now, and uh, I'm kind of pissed off because I don't usually die this many times in a game. Um, I, I try to go flawless every time. I actually have 152 and 0 posted on the, the channel. If you guys are new, you don't know who I am, uh, please check out that 152 and 0. Um, I'll leave an annotation in the corner right now. But um, immediately I'm going back to that B flag and I'm nading the next house. This is the other place that they're going to be, you guys. Um, they're going to be trying to cap the B flag and coming into this house. What? Where did he go? He just disappeared, and I missed a kill because of it, and it pisses me off. No, uh, but they're obviously spawning in the back uh, by the cars, and there's another spawn over here by where I'm standing, and then um, another spawn in the other sniper house that overlooks that long, um, the long pool area, I guess you could call it. So now that you know where they spawn there, realize that if you're standing on one spawn, it deactivates that spawn. They're going to be on the other side of it. This isn't uh, spawn trapping, but what domination, it's a game of, of spawn, I guess you could say spawn awareness. If you don't know where the enemies are spawning, then you're not going to do well in a game of uh, domination. That's just plain and simple. So uh, what I always suggest is getting back into the... Uh, into this little garage area and then that way you're you're stopping that middle spawn and you're picking up kills from the left and right um, no one is really gonna come to you from the right unless they're good players I'm not playing good players at all uh, and no surprise there I'm only a level 16 right now in this account I think I played one game uh, I don't know how that guy didn't kill me trying to cap the C flag but this load star doesn't get shot down and this is what I'm show telling you guys about the uh, score streaks going ham I mean I pick up kill after kill with this load star and um, there's just uh, there's no mercy being given to these kids buttholes I'm I'm teaching them a little lesson about rape they about to learn today but uh, throwing up a, a Vito warship after this I hate the warships you guys and there's a few reasons why um, I'm gonna kind of skip over the tips on how to use load stars because it's just like a reaper for modern warfare 3 i'm sure all you guys know how to use them uh just avoid the trees but the load star or the uh Vito warship it's the most annoying kill streak to use for me because this whole press l2 to switch the position of the the helicopter it it's I never learned how to use it to my advantage. It always seemed like it would just hover really slow and it's very unresponsive. You press your missiles and it takes like an hour to shoot them off. You guys, this is probably my least favorite kill streak. I'm going to be completely honest. It gets a lot of kills, but I don't enjoy using it. It's not a fun time. Like I'll, I'll pick up multis with it all day, but um, a tip that uh, David, uh, he's the other commentator on our channel, he taught me is to... Uh, spam that L2 button to move to new locations all the time. When you're moving to new locations, you're uh, not going to get shot down as fast, and as well as you're going to be picking up kills in different parts of the map. Uh, as you start raping them with kill streaks, they're not just going to spawn in those three spots. I don't know why exactly it is. Maybe it's because my teammates push their spawn too much. I don't know exactly what uh, the deal with it is, but they don't seem to spawn in those three areas. Um, but you have to really circle that map to find the kids that you're looking for. Uh, jumping onto a flag, never jump onto a flag when it, you're the only one on there. I jumped on that flag when there's three people, um, especially the B flag. The B flag is the hot spot on this map usually, other than the middle where all the snipers and campers are. Oh, am I going to get the triple? I get the triple kill, followed by the double kill. Just, oh man. I'm, I loved this game, you guys. I, I mean, Raid is a map that I always do well on. I try not to upload too much gameplay from it because uh, it's this is probably the easiest map to get 100 pluses on if you have good kill streaks. And um, it's something that I think all of you could really do. So um, this video is starting to wrap up. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I hope that uh, you guys will check out the channel and uh, 
subscribe uh, for daily content. And um, I really want to thank uh, Pwn Stars one more time because uh, this is it's an amazing opportunity. It's great to know that bigger YouTubers really do care about helping uh, us small guys get up there because uh, it's hard to get yourself out there. So thanks for looking, you guys, and uh, you stay classy, YouTube.